And alrighty, folks, this is the last pint that I have to review from Halo Top. This is the birthday cake flavor. You know how the old saying goes, you gotta save the best for last. All right, everybody, so basically what I was saying before my audio cut out in the first clip I just showed you is I wanna start filming everything on my DSLR. So that's that camera right there, hiding in the background. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate, but sometimes you just deal with technical difficulties, right? So yeah, the entire day, I guess you could say, with the exception of my lifting footage at the gym in this video is most likely gonna be filmed with my DSLR. I wanna change things up. I wanna actually learn how to use that. I feel like I've only used it for uh, my challenges and my mukbangs and all my eating related stuff. So I kinda wanna just take more time to use that. So that's pretty much what I was saying. Anyways, let's get to the video. Boom, yes, that was awesome to hit a five pound PR. Uh, actually got three reps out of that one. I wanted to go for five, but it is what it is, guys. You guys know team long arms over here. Benching has always been my biggest weakness. So going into this one, I was actually, I mean, I've been riding my bike around, guys, so it's been very hard to, uh, to get enough stamina and motivation, really, but I've been doing the best I can, and I've been seeing results, which is awesome and um, I was really happy to, to get to that point. So just right now, I'm gonna be getting my car back today, so it's gonna be nice to, to drive into the gym as opposed to have to ride. I think there's like eight, nine miles to, to get there. But yeah, I'm uh, really starting to get my form down and I alternate between flat bench and actual dumbbell pressing. Dumbbell pressing is awesome with the extra range of motion and everything like that. I feel like I'm able to, uh, to control it more. And um, yeah, just generally working up to my top sets, with the, which are right now 135, 145, and usually that uh, top set after that will be a, a PR attempt, which in this case was 160 for three reps. But overall, really happy with this. This is just a sample push workout. I didn't film my accessory work, and I'm actually, let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to film my accessory work for you guys. I just don't really feel like it's important to film every tricep push down or dip or uh, close grip bench press, but shout out to that grinder rep right there. Boom, locking it out. Anyways guys, that's it for uh, for the workout. Just film this last clip right here. But again, yeah, let me know if you guys want me to film my accessory work, what you guys want to see, and I will be sure to do that. Anyways guys, I'm gonna let this close out. Thanks for watching the video. See ya. All right guys, so we're back from the gym, back from work, the entire day is gone. I got some groceries, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So not a huge haul overall, I didn't have to go earlier today, so I got a few different things earlier, but uh, I decided to try out this ranch broccoli. I think I've tried the um, Tuscan Parmesan before, so I'm looking forward to trying this stuff out. Next we have some Brussels sprouts, just the essentials right here. I got some snap peas, because you guys know you gotta have your snap peas another essential this is never something I ever get now I'm actually I don't know why I wanted to get a watermelon but I you know what want to get a watermelon so that's that we also have some nanners right here so I wanted to get a few of those just to throw in some smoothies or some nice cream if you can say then we have some hot grain cereal so fun fact with this, if you toast it in the oven, it gets nice and crispy. Try it out guys. It's a nice uh, alternative to cereal if you want to change things up. Next we have some cauliflower, frozen. Uh, I've been making some awesome 50-50 uh, cauliflower pizzas with uh, normal flour and normal cauliflower and it actually turns out really good. So next we have Diet 7 Up because you guys know I've got to have my Diet 7 Up. And we have a very, very smoothie blend. So this is actually Strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, cranberries, and grapes. How can you go wrong? Now we have, this is a staple in my diet, bacon cocoa. Then, I decided to get something I haven't gotten in a long time. This is cream of rice, and usually guys, I have about 
uh, a cup and a half uh, to two cups of oatmeal before I go to sleep. So I'm gonna try it out and see how I like it again. Throw it in with some maple brown sugar. But uh, the main reason for this is I've been having some digestive issues, uh, you know, waking up in the morning. So I wanna try this out and see if it's a little bit easier on my system overall. Rice cakes right here. That light mayo though, right? And then just maple flavoring and of course, panko breadcrumbs because I've been making some bomb ass fish lately. So that's that guys, not a huge haul, but I wanted to show you guys what I'm rocking with right now. So stay tuned for the next part of the video. That bread shot though, that bread shot. When you're anxiously waiting for that Battlefield 1 beta to download, this sucks. And so, it begins. This is sick. And alrighty folks, this is the last pint that I have to review from Halo Top. This is the birthday cake flavor. I'm gonna show you guys what I think of this. Now I gotta be honest with you guys, I have had this before so I'm not gonna be trying this out for the first time. I saved the best for last. I'm just gonna put it that way. I'm gonna leave it right there. I'm gonna show you guys what I think of this one. Let's get to it. Well, you know how the old saying goes. You gotta save the best for last. Mind blowing guys, absolutely mind blowing. So as you guys have probably already been able to tell, this is my favorite, and by favorite, I mean absolutely top flavor from Halo Top. Now I've tried out six different flavors for you guys. I've tried out the strawberry flavor, the mint chip flavor, um, also have tried out the lemon flavor as well and a few other ones I'm leaving out but birthday cake is number one now everybody my favorite thing about this awesome little sprinkles right in the pint my second favorite part about this flavor really is the fact that it literally tastes identical to any type of birthday cake ice cream that you would go find in the stores from any sort of reputable brand. So I apologize to all my birthday cake ice cream aficionados out there. They're gonna call me out in the comments, but I'm sorry guys. This is just the way to go. Guys, don't forget that this is nothing compared to real ice cream. This is just something that you can eat if you're trying to watch your macros, trying to watch your calories. This whole pint has 280 calories right here, guys. So a lot of people that can't really go the extra mile to uh, be able to spare their calories to be able to take on a pint that normally has over a thousand calories in it. This is a great alternative. I mean, it's definitely, again, not real ice cream, but it certainly does the job. I'm gonna get right to the point here. This pint, this flavor, is a solid 10 out of 10. Go get this one first if you haven't tried Halo Top before. Again, I wanna give a huge shout out to Halo Top for sending these out to me. It's been awesome to review these, but I'm probably gonna be going back to real ice cream now after this. Thanks again, guys. Some oats with some honey. Bread, cinnamon sugar, and of course you gotta have your fruit too. All right, guys, about to head out. Shout out to Adam Richmond. You had your days, man. You had your days. And oatmeal is quickly becoming one of my favorite foods.
say what's up. You guys are in the latest video. We have World Class Douchebag, we have Hanan, Sophie Fitness. Check out those eggplant pizza games though. Taste test, it's about that time. Fire, even though it's kind of falling apart, but that is delicious. Alrighty guys, just on the tubes, catching up on some subs. Again, huge shout out to Andy for sending these out to me. I'm about to experience some smoky bacon tato chips from Ireland. Let's try them out. We all know how much the Irish love their potatoes. Let's see if these are legit. Those aren't bad. Actually pretty damn good. The bacon flavor isn't too apparent, but these are definitely good potato chips. So I just want to say guys, first impressions of the new Battlefield 1 beta, not impressed at all. Maybe it's just the map, maybe it's just the fact that there's one map. I'm a seasoned first person shooter aficionado. I come from a past of Counter-Strike 1.6. That's what real men play. I like what they try to do here, but if I were to give this game a rating, it's gonna be a five out of 10. Hopefully when it comes out and I get access to more maps, this game will be awesome. But until then, we'll just wait in anticipation. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this game bugs out like crazy. Oh well, it's a beta. And alrighty guys, I just wanna say thank you for clicking on the video, thank you for taking the time to watch the video, it means a lot to me. Uh, have had quite, uh, so I've had quite the past two weeks, I've been cycling everywhere, it's been crazy, I've been pushing like 250, 300 mile weeks. I uh, haven't really done any squatting to be honest, and uh, just because of the load that my legs have been taking, and uh, just been dealing with a lot of fatigue from them, and normally I don't really get fatigue in my legs, so it's not something I'm really used to dealing with. But overall, I really like where I'm at in the gym, I like my progression so far, I'm right where I feel like I should be. So, uh, like I mentioned in past videos, now is the time for me to kind of take other hobbies and uh, other stuff that makes me happy, and, and really just explore really where I want to do and really just explore where I want to go with my life and uh, you know just take this time to, to take it easy because I really haven't been. So other than that, I got some stuff coming up. I do have a potential eating contest this weekend. I've also been experimenting with new recipes in the kitchen and uh, yeah, that's been really fun too. So I really like cooking a lot of different stuff. I like making my own stuff. I might actually start putting up more recipe videos. So if you guys want to see more, definitely let me know in the comments below. And of course guys, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to follow me on my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, you know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video guys and go ride a bike. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What 9,000? Oh,